traveling to foreign countries can bring on some culture shock, but try moving to a completely new place with new people for a whole school year. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, I introduce you to two students who made a leap over the pond to test out American life in rural South Dakota. A couple weeks ago, Trip Delmont hosted its homecoming parade and pep rally, an annual tradition for the small town school. However, for two of this year's seniors, it was a tradition they hadn't quite experienced before. Louis Lippert and Emmy LeBeau are two foreign exchange students who left their hometowns in Germany and Belgium this year to try something new, school in America. For me, it was a big dream of me to go to a different country since I was little. I wanted to be bilingual, like I really want to speak re really good English and so I wanted to improve it. And I wanted to discover another culture, like meet new people. It's only been a couple of months since the two arrived in South Dakota, but they've already gotten a good glimpse of what it's like in rural America. Yeah, so the thing I like the most here is people because everybody is like so nice to me and even if I like at first I wasn't speaking really good English I think and so everybody is so nice to me and they try to understand what I said they're always there for me and all that and Lewis has fallen in love with American football I love football with all of my heart um, I like the game because you can run a lot and you can tackle <laughs> and I like tackling yeah They've also realized how different high school life is in the United States. I think the biggest difference was the school. The school is very different in Europe, I, I would say in Europe, <laughs> than in America. In Belgium, like, teachers are not your friend. And here, mm -hmm. you can talk with them about everything. They're like your friends. Like, that, that's cool. It's a learning experience not only for the students, but also for their host families. I think that you do see things through completely different eyes that you may have been overlooking, but now you're looking at it through their eyes, like even the Corn Palace and Mitchell. You know, we kind of take that for granted, but it is really a neat thing. And seeing what they get excited about and what they have fun, doing. It's just fun because we get to bring them around and do lots of fun activities together. We've gone to pumpkin patches, corn mazes, we do escape rooms together. We just have many great adventures. We go to pier to the Capitol building at Christmas time. Now this is the first time Amy Schatz has hosted a foreign exchange student. However, Mark and Jennifer Gamar have done this three times before. Every student we've hosted, they just bring a different atmosphere, a different culture. Like on Sundays, Lewis mentioned watching football. I, I just love our time sitting there watching football and with him and, and uh, teaching him a little bit about it. Jennifer Gamar is also the regional representative for the ASSE International Student Exchange Program. And though you may think all foreign exchange students want to go to bigger cities or states, Jennifer Gamar has placed many students with families right here in small town South Dakota. A lot of our students, previous students mentioned that how much they love coming to a small town. A lot of them get the opportunity to play sports here where they don't have that in the big cities. A lot of them you have to try out for a team and you have to work, you know, work for your spot on the team and a lot of the if they make the team they might be on the bench. So here they're getting the opportunity to jump right in and get that experience and make friends and it's just been an overall good experience for all of them from what I heard. They like the small town a chance to try new things and become a part of a community. It's nice to know how it is here. Yeah, I like it. I like the traditions. I really love being here because they're always here for me and Amy, so my host mom, said that she is considering me as her old child, so that's really nice and yeah, I think that's the best thing I have here. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Lauren Solik. Lewis Lippard says he is excited to do more things like visit Mount Rushmore, and just today he got to see the Vikings and Bears game in Minneapolis. Emmy LeBeau says although she's enjoyed being here and meeting new people, she has decided to go back to Belgium early because of some homesickness.